What's up everybody? My name is Bailey Griffiths and welcome to my channel. This morning, it is June 20th. It is opening weekend of scallop season here in Steenhatchee, Florida. So this morning we're headed out. It's about 9 o'clock. I'm going to go help set up the boat, ice down some waters, get some uh, scallop nets ready, and then hopefully we get our limit of scallops today. So stay tuned. So as I said earlier, it is opening weekend of scallop season here in Steenhatchee. And Steenhatchee kind of like Crystal River, Florida, or Homosassa, Florida, is known for our scalloping. It is like one of the scalloping headquarters. Um, so it is a really busy weekend here. Um, you'd probably be surprised at the amount of people that do end up here to go scalloping. Um, so here at my parents' resort, I kind of give you guys a bit of a show and show you guys how many people are here and what they're coming to do today. So I'm not going to be driving the boat today because I'm going to be behind the camera filming most of the day. But this is my dad, Jody Griffiths. Hello. Do Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> so, he's Captain Dad for the day. That's what the girls and I are going to call him, and he's going to put us on some scallops, right? Hopefully so, yes. All right, guys, so we just got to the scalloping grounds. Obviously, there's a lot of boats out here, all trying to put some meat on the boat. So I have a special crew with me today. I have Mermaid Mo, I have Amy, Mallory, Huntress Jen, and then we have the boat dog Penny. I'm not sure where she ran hey off girl, to. Come here. Hey, Dad. Go over there, girl. And then we have Penny, who's ready to get on some scallops with us, right, and we're gonna get the scallop in and hopefully get some on the boat, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, so round one, we got some scallops, I'll show you the bucket in just a minute, but we're about to dive down for round two. So the girls and I actually limited out today, but we don't want to take the time to sit there and shuck them So we're gonna actually support one of our local businesses here and We're gonna drop them off there have them shuck them. They're usually about seven to eight dollars a pound So I'm gonna drop them off. So this is the place that I dropped my scallops off to get shucked at It's called the shucker shack. They're located here in Steenhatchee, Florida. My good friend Kenny does it He's actually inside talking to a customer now, but he does an excellent job for a really great price so, little Jody and I have just picked up some freshly clean scallops. Look at that. Beautiful, fresh, white meat. And we're going to go home and cook something good with it for Father's Day, right? We're going to make something for Dad. That's right. We'll see you there, guys. So, I just got here to my parents' house. They live about 25 minutes north of me in a little place called Keaton Beach. They have a house on the water, so I'll give you guys a view of the sunset a little bit later when that's happening. But right now my dad is working and so is my mom up at the River Club. So I'm going to surprise him with dinner tonight, made by yours truly. But um, right now I'm going to go ahead and marinate these ribeyes. So we picked up four of them. We're only going to cook three tonight and we're going to leave two for another night for my mom and my little brother. So what I'm going to start with is some of the good old Dale seasoning. We're just going to pour it in the pan here. cover the whole pan and then we're gonna grab these ribeyes by the way I have already washed my hands they are clean I promise so I'm gonna grab one of these right here lay them in there kind of just soak up that nail seasoning a little bit and then I'm gonna flip it make sure I get both sides of it completely covered kind of just rub the sauce in there make sure it really gets into that meat 
And I'm just going to do the same thing with every other steak. So these bad boys will be going on the grill pretty soon. Alright, so I have those three ribeyes marinated in the dill sauce. I'm going to stick them in the fridge for about four to five hours. Just let them sit in it, soak everything up, and then we'll put these on the grill. So I just went ahead and brought the steak upstairs and I'm going to have little Jody judge my grilling skills because I honestly never grill. So let's cut into it Jody. Tell me what you think. Let's do it. Let's see. Nice little piece of meat. You pleasantly surprised? Very good for a first time. Very good. I'm All impressed. Right. Mission accomplished, guys. Mission accomplished. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. What do you think? Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Good. So here is our beautiful locally harvested bay scallops that were shucked by some of the locals. Once again, they're an awesome group of people. Check them out if you're ever in the Steenhatchee area. So, I'm going to go ahead and cook them for dinner. So, first things first, so I'm going to transfer them to this paper towel right here and I'm going to pat them dry. Sometimes when you cook them and you don't pat them dry, they can get a little watery and the water tends to seep out. And we don't want that because we want them to hold as much flavor as possible. So, we're just going to pat them dry a little bit, make sure there's not a lot of that excess water. All right. Now that those are patted dry, I'm going to transfer them back into this dish and then I'm going to go ahead and get my skillet ready. So I have some olive oil here in my skillet. I've covered the bottom of the skillet to make sure that all the scallops that I put in here are going to cook. I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner on to medium to high heat. So I'm going to put it on about a six. I'm gonna go, then I'm going to bring these scallops over to the side really quick while my olive oil is heating up. And I do have some Old Bay to the side, but first things first, I'm actually going to season them with just some plain salt and pepper. And yes, I'm going to put lots of salt and pepper because, you know, the more seasoning the better. You can't go wrong with it. Alright, and then we're going to add some pepper. Cover them in that. I'm going to toss those around with my hands, make sure everything is evenly coated. Okay, so our scallops are now patted dry. They're covered in salt and pepper. I have my olive oil sitting in my skillet on medium heat. I personally put it on a six. So now I'm going to transfer these scallops into this oil and let them cook. And don't you just love the sound of that? That's one of my favorite sounds. I don't cook very often, but... I like to eat, so I know what that sound means. So we're going to try to evenly spread these out so that we make sure they're all getting cooked evenly. And scallops, you actually don't cook very long. They're actually a really simple dish to make. So they'll probably stay in here for around three to four minutes, if that. But you can usually tell that a scallop is finished when it's um, sort of kind of translucent looking. So I'll show you guys the finished product in just a minute. So these are finished. Like I said, it does not take long to cook them at all. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this burner off. And I'm going to move this this way. Okay. As you can tell, those look delicious, but I'm still going to do a little more with it. My family is obviously a big fan of Old Bay. So I'm going to take some Old Bay seasoning. Sprinkle it all on there. Not too much because, well, let's see if we can break that up a little bit first. It's a little stuck in there right now. So let's give that a try. Second try. So I'm going to sprinkle some Old Bay in there. 
It's a little hard to get out right now, but we're making it work. Just cover the scallops with them. Give them some extra flavor because who doesn't love Old Bay? So now that those are covered with that, I'm going to set that to the side. And I'm going to take these lemon wedges right here. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on it. And yes, it's getting all over my hands and a couple of seeds will end up in the scallops, but I promise you, a little seed won't kill anybody. Take this other side. Get it all in there. Cover them with it. Put that to the side. Now we're just going to mix it up a little bit. Make sure that everything is covered evenly. So that is the final product of my scallops. I'll show you guys what else we are serving with it. And then I'll show you guys the end clip of me serving my dad a ribeye and scallop dinner. So this is the end result of dinner tonight. We have our seven layer salad, which mom made. We have the ribeye I cooked, scallops, and then dad's baked potato that he prepared himself. So I'm going to have him taste test it for me. <laughs> okay, so I have prepared a delicious dinner for Father's Day and... My dad is going to try it and let me know how it tastes, so. It's perfect. <laughs> perfect. It's exactly what I wanted it's to hear. Delicioso. Delicioso. As you guys can tell, this, this might be where I get a, a bit of my personality from, but I think it's a good thing, so. It's very, very good. Very tasty. Very tender. Okay, well, how about you try the scallop next so I can know how that is? If you wouldn't mind. Could I take one more bite of the steak? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. Obviously, he's enjoying the steak, guys. He doesn't want to stop eating it. So, I'm going to consider the ribeyes a success. And then, we'll, we'll see if the scallops were a hit or a miss. Delicious. Thank you. Now for the scallops. Delicioso. <laughs> Delicioso. All right. You guys heard it here. Happy Father's Day to the main man in my life, and I hope he enjoys his dinner. So, obviously my dad is enjoying his Father's Day dinner, and I had a blast getting to scallop with the girls and showing you guys a little bit about scalloping for those of you who aren't very familiar with it. So, I'm gonna have more videos to come. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked it, or even just press the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me, but I have more coming for you guys, and I can't wait for you to see it all, so stay tuned.